Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Outpost. Basically, we're in this spaceship and uh, we, we've just broken down. So basically, we're going to head down to this planet we're next to. And like a certain other game you may have seen, we're going to use a glass dome. Because in here, we have a little robot. He's going to head into this mine and he's going to bring back diamonds. Look, he's carrying a little, a little purple diamond. However, the natives don't like it. So we've got to kill this slug with our turrets. Slug is down, but there's also a T-Rex slug. <laughs> <laughs> He's got so small arms that they're not even there. And you see that gave us a little bit of gold. So we've got two currencies up here. Basically, the golden ones are temporary. The purples are permanent. And we get the purples on the mines. We get the golds from killing enemies. And if press this button down here, we can spend those on increasing our gun. So we've got better speed now. So we're shooting faster. And every so often, we get an upgrade. So we can either add five diamonds with two S's. Or we can add a radar, which gives us two range to our gun. So I think I'm going to go with the diamonds for now. And then, oh, there they go. There they go. And you see up here, there's a button that says lunch. Yeah, translation slightly off on this. But basically, when you want to abandon the planet if this health bar in the middle gets too low you can just press the launch button and then you head back to your ship and then you can try again another day but for now let's increase the speed of our gun oh that health is going down fast let's give us some damage yeah so at this point the the health is pretty low so i think i'm gonna head back to space we're gonna go get some lunch so you can see we've returned with our eight diamonds they're actually floating around the ship so that's good and these are gonna be permanent upgrades so there's loads of different weapons to unlock gun upgrades and our ultimate aim is to get to ten thousand diamonds so we can set sail and get moving again but for now i on my eight i'm gonna i think i'm gonna increase my mining speed that's a 25 percent increase yes please which means back down here although our weapon isn't any better we are getting more diamonds now so when we head back for lunch we now have 10 diamonds so if we upgrade our mining speed again Again, or do we get a gold robot? Because that means we're going to be mining gold as well. And we can upgrade quicker. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So now when we're down here, can you see we've got the little golden robot? So he goes into this mine, which means we're now gaining gold as well as purple diamonds all the time. And that means we can upgrade our gun a lot quicker and hopefully survive a little bit longer before we need to evacuate. Now you might be wondering what happens if this health bar goes all the way down to the bottom. Well, basically when we leave, we lose half of our diamonds. So generally it's worth trying to to not risk it too much and leave slightly earlier than you otherwise would. Right, so the upgrades this time, we get golden egg, which is incubation in seven waves. I don't think I can survive seven waves at the moment. So we'll go for lone wolf instead, which adds 50% damage when this is the only weapon. So yeah, this is our only weapon. So we should do twice the damage we otherwise would. So I'm going to upgrade my speed, I think. So we're shooting faster. Then do I add 20 speed to all my weapons or drop coins when my base is hitted? Let's go for compensation. I think early game, you just want to get as much money as you can, right? Now, I'm also going to increase the speed as well. So everything should happen a little bit faster, right? Oh, that was a big wave. That was a big wave, but we are surviving easily. That lone wolf is really saving us. Hang on. They're invisible. No, they're not invisible. They're big old hairy things. Thankfully, they are down and we have even more coins to spend. Health is still good. So we'll go on to the next wave still. And what is that? Oh, that's actually really cute. It's like a happy dinosaur chicken thing. Anyway, more damage. We've mash through them. Health is still good. Let's increase our speed again then. And then, oh, look, there's, there's tall ones. They do not last long, though. Our gun is absolutely going for it. Question is now, speed or damage? I'm going damage. What is that? I think we've got a boss. Ow. Ow. It's hurting. Well, it's actually not doing any damage at all, hardly. And now we get another upgrade. So, insurance. Base hitted five waves drop a big treasure box. So does that mean if I take damage for five waves, I get a treasure box? I don't think I can last five more waves, if I'm honest. Though we're surviving well at the moment, it's getting a little bit dangerous. There's also a hammer. Stun full life percent enemies and deal more damage. Yeah, okay, we're taking more damage. By the way, we got 10 gold to spend in the shop at the moment. Would it be worth increasing my range so I can shoot from further away because it only costs one so i'm thinking if i do oh yeah that's actually quite a bit bigger we'll do speed as well then we are ready for the next attack oh no these guys have horns they have horns they look like pincer and yeah you can see the stunning now so if we if we shoot the ones with full health they stop moving all right nice okay that went really well to be fair let's I feel like it, let's increase the range again. And then more more damage. Oh, I should have done more speed. There's so many enemies. Where did, they're shooting me. 
They're shooting me. No. So unfortunately, we only get five diamonds there because I got greedy, basically. Uh, however, I do have enough to increase my, my max life. That's a hell of an increase. Yeah, let's do that. Then I can spend the remaining five on making my health regen twice as fast. Yes, please. All right, so I did a few more rounds and we're up to 22 diamonds. So let's have a look and try and get our mining better. Uh, so I can spend 10 on... Oh, does that add another... I think we're going to have two diamond robots. And if I also make their speed better as well, we should be raking in the diamonds. Let's go. So we're going to start off. Yeah, look, you can see there's two robots now, which means we're getting twice the purple diamonds. So let's speed up and then let's try and see how far we can get. So basically, each round we play, we're going to be getting twice as many diamonds, which means hopefully we can upgrade twice as fast. Anyway, this is going way better. We're on round eight and we're, we're already up to 18 diamonds. All right, I know I can survive round nine. Can we survive round 10? This is always the one that sort of hurt me. Let's add some more speed, maybe some damage. No, are we going to make it? Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, we made it. We've never made it to this round before. Okay, let's go. Let's go for lunch. Let's not get greedy. So we got 22 diamonds for that. And you know what? I reckon it's time to unlock the next weapon. The light jetting is now unlocked. Oh, yes. So now we got two weapons. We got the gun and the light jetting. So both those can be upgraded separately. But I reckon we just we just focus on the mining upgrades for now. So back on the planet, you can see we got our normal turret. And this is the lightning one. I guess that's what this extra range circle is. So yeah, slug. As soon as he goes in there, is he... I don't know what the lightning's doing. The lightning's doing nothing. Uh, but my upgrade, the Super Battery Plus, it adds 20% damage for all electric damage. Okay, well, let's try that. And hopefully this time, it might actually shoot someone. In the meantime, probably worth upgrading my normal gun. Let's get speed and damage up because the lightning upgrade's pretty pricey at 12 gold. Right, oh, there you go. I saw the lightning. So the lightning actually hurts everyone. Ooh, that's quite nice. Okay, I thought I may have wasted money with the lightning, but you know what? Not bad at all. Still, we'll keep upgrading the normal gun. Oh, yeah, that is so good. That is so good. Right, we'll speed up the game as well. So round five, these are the invisible ones. Not ideal. I think I'm gonna try and save and upgrade my lightning this time. I need 12 gold. I think one more kill we can do it. There we go. We got that. So now we're shooting lightning twice as fast. I'm going to keep upgrading my normal gun because this is the boss round. Ow, ow, ow. Boss really hurts us. I'm not sure I can survive another round, but I'm going to try. Let's upgrade the gun and let's just hope we can survive the pincers. I mean, we should be doing more damage than normal because we got an extra turret, but it doesn't seem to be working that way. I upgraded the gun speed. The health is not good. Oh, dear. Yeah. Still, we've got 22 diamonds to spend, which means, oh, we can we can add another diamond robot. Okay, done. So now you can see there's three diamond robots going into the diamond mine, which means after another successful round when we head back for lunch, we have 34 diamonds. So I think I should probably just do the same thing. Let's get another diamond robot. So now there's four going in there, which means now we have 49 to play with. Sadly, one short of another diamond robot, but I reckon if we make our mining speed a bit faster, make their moving speed faster as well and then perhaps spend the rest on actually making my equipment better so my gun is going to be a lot faster shooting from the off and I'll give it more damage from the off. So we'll see how we get on this time. We're going to be making a lot more diamonds, which means we are upgrading a lot quicker in game. The boss did not stand a chance. So we're up to wave 10. This is the one that I usually fail. So let's add more speed because there's a lot of enemies. Oh no, the health is going down so fast. More damage. Oh yes, we made it. We made it right. Let's go for lunch. Let's go for lunch. Let's get out of it. So after just one wave, we're back up to 43 diamonds. And oh, in our mining tab we've unlocked the mineral value has gone up by 30 percent so basically for every three slash four diamonds we gain we gain an extra one okay yes please and another gold robot please all right so i just had my best round yet we've got 146 diamonds which means we can unlock the missile so yeah that is definitely getting unlocked tempted to add a relic choose count increase from two to three because the relics can be absolutely game changing so let's do that and then i think the rest will just go on to our mining so we probably want more yeah more diamond robots sweet so back down we go and this time we've got three weapons uh, missile costs 70 to upgrade so we probably won't be upgrading that at all let's just focus on the gun for now and yes we get three upgrades to pick from oh a top laser 
us spawn laser to hit enemies. I'm not even going to read the others. We are going for that. So essentially drawing a wave every so often, we should see a laser come down and just annihilate the T-Rex slugs. Oh, it is beautiful. And then we get more upgrades. Well, we don't have fire damage, so we can't go with gasoline. Uh, let's try the insurance one. So we may see a treasure box every so often. It's This is the one where we get hitted five waves, drop a big treasure box. So presumably if we do bad, we get rewarded. But yeah, for now, let's increase the speed and then let's just keep going and see where this treasure box spawns. All right, so we're up to the boss wave, completely annihilated the boss. Um, oh, discount today. Okay, this could be really good. We've only got seven gold, but uh, this is actually amazing. So basically everything gets a 50% discount. So if we do that and then just have a look in the shop, you see we can get that for six gold now. We'll do that or we'll add some damage to the lightning as well and length of lightning. Okay, I've just, I've just fully upgraded my lightning thing. I've never even used it before, but uh, lightning did pretty well. I feel like I sort of wasted my upgrades there. I probably should have like spread them out. Still, this is the big test. Wave 10. We don't often survive wave 10. Ooh, but we have today. We have today. I feel like though, let's go back for lunch. No point risking it. We got 92 diamonds. Oh, look what we've just unlocked. The diamond keep percent. So if we were to take that and then we die, we get 60% of the diamonds rather than just 50%. Could be worth doing, but I feel like just playing it safe is probably the most sensible thing to do. In the meantime, I'm going to upgrade my normal gun because I do seem to use this all the time. Oh my, there's an extra gun. I can add an extra gun. Okay, I've added an extra gun. Yeah, so if we look in our dome now, we've got two gun turrets. That's twice the firepower. Quick mess. Right, so basically all of these upgrades, they will do like twice the damage with two towers, right? So I have a feeling this time we should go really far. So let's keep upgrading these guns. Now there's two of them. Well worth upgrading. Yeah, so we're on the boss wave and the boss did not even get close. Now we're going to add bronze scales plus so we do 20 damage back when we get attacked ourselves. So you can see we've got little zigzags on the floor. So I assume they're just like spikes. So if anyone gets close, they would be in trouble. They are not getting close at all though. I should have added two guns a long time ago because yeah this is our best we've never got to round 12 before oh wow and we've just maxed out the gun speed so i guess we'll keep adding damage for now we saw it like over two thirds health i should probably add my lightning so lightning speed increase because there's so many enemies let's increase the damage as well and more speed and let's hope we can survive this round because we have 111 diamonds yeah we did there were two bosses that round as well right i think adding a golden bullet would be sensible because we got the two gun towers the question is is though, do I actually want to do the next round? Because we've only got a third health. Know what? Sod this. I'm going for lunch. Play it safe. And if I do another round, I can easily get 130 diamonds to get another gun turret. So yeah, I think I'll buy another diamond robot. Right, then we're on round 14. I feel like this was further than I went last time, right? Oh no, that's the three boss one. Okay, three boss one. That was fine. Oh, we got the discount. We got the discount. Okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do the discount one. So let's upgrade the lightning while we're here because it's going to be cheap. And then if we go back to the gun, we can upgrade this while we're here. Oh, can I actually add another one in game? I don't think we can get 65 gold, but if we could, we can add another we can add another turret in game. Okay, that's cool. For now, speed and damage is max though. Let's increase our range again. I mean, we're actually still doing really well. I guess we'll focus on upgrading the lightning. I'm not sure we're going to survive this round. That is a lot of enemies. Quick, quick. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Oh, we're doing so well. Okay, going to keep the lightning going. We're up to round 17. Oh, what is that? What is that? That is terrifying. It's got a lot of health. It's got so much health. Everything's hitting it. But yes, the health bar's down. Oh, decent. Okay, we've nearly got enough to upgrade the missile speed. Shall I do that? I think I might see how many enemies there are. Uh, oh, they're like pink enemies. They have a lot of health, but uh, no match for me. Nice. Okay, let's let's upgrade. Let's upgrade the missile. Why not? We got another upgrade to pick from. I think I'll go for more gold because upgrades get an ex expensive now. And then we'll just try and make our lightning better, I think. So, oh, these enemies are hurting. They are very, very strong. Oh, and this round, they're invisible, so we can't even take them down early. We'll see how this goes. We got 218 diamonds on the line. What's our health bar doing? It's going down fast. Do I gamble? Do I gamble? I think we go for lunch. We go for lunch. We did so well. We reached round 23, which means we can easily afford another 
turret. The next one is 190, so not too far away. I'm, I don't know what the catapult is. It costs 100, which is pretty much everything I have. I feel like since we got three turrets, it's probably way more sensible just to upgrade my guns. Like, get the speed on the go, the damage, the range. It's all from the off. And then we start with a very overpowered base. The trouble is, all these upgrades suddenly cost a lot more. Still, gun turrets are completely maxed out already now, which means I can focus on the lightning, which means we are on to the pink monster wave and we are having no issues at all. Let's pick ooh, the anchor plus. So that kills enemies as soon as they get to life 40. So basically, if you take 60% of their damage off, they'll just die. So there's no low level enemies anymore. Yeah, which means enemies get killed a lot quicker because as soon as their health drops to 40%, they literally just explode. Nice. Right, we did take some damage that time, but we are still regenning. So I reckon let's go for another round. Round 23 could be a big one, but no, it was it was actually completely fine. Right, so we're on to round 25. There's these like three-eyed cat things coming towards us. They look pretty terrifying, if I'm honest, but we are absolutely mullering them. So I think let's just keep upgrading the lightning. Oh man, that's a lot of enemies. That is actually a lot of enemies. Still survived that easily. Oh, this is going so well. 300 diamonds nearly. The trouble is, when do we call it? Because uh, we are taking damage. Ooh, we lost like half our health there. It is regening. But do we take our 300 diamonds and run? Or do we try for one more round? Let's try for one more round. You only live once, right? Oh, no, that's so many enemies. That is so many enemies. Oh, and the enemies that shoot me as well. Come on, take them down. Okay, they're down. Half health again. Do we go for another one? I think we do. Let's increase our lightning length. So that's completely maxed out now, as well as our normal gun. So just the missile left to upgrade. Are we going to survive this, though? I am not sure. I don't want to lose half my diamonds. 300 is so many. Lightning doing the damage, though. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Right. Do we gamble again? No, I'm going for lunch. I'm going for lunch. I'm not risking it. As an engineer, you want a factor of safety in there. We had none. Whereas now we have 330 diamonds. So you know what that means? Another gun turret. And then a few more mining upgrades so I can upgrade even faster. Many months later. Right. So I've played quite a few more rounds. I've just been focusing on my mining upgrades and I've just unlocked ignore monster. So basically we'll always be getting diamonds even when we're being attacked. That's going to cost a thousand but i think it's worth it boosh now i've also increased my relic choose count from three to four and actually I'll, i may as well do up to five why not so let's head down and then let's see how this goes so we start off our gun is pretty much max we got four of them around look at all that income so before we've even been attacked we can already start increasing our range now this is what i like to do i like to increase my range i'm going to turn the game speed up so we can see how we go basically just go for range because basically if you look at this our guns wipe anything that comes into the area. So let's just keep going for damage, keep going for speed. Well, they're both maxed out because even while we're under attack, we're still making income now. And we've also found out what the catapult does and it's absolutely incredible. If anything lasts long enough, try and have a look at what this does. I'll slow the speed down when we're next under attack which is now. But basically, the bullets, they bounce from one enemy to another. So now there's a boss. We might be able to see it quite nicely down here. But can you see all the bullets are bouncing? Well, not really, because everything's getting annihilated. Uh, let's take the golden egg as well, because we're going to be surviving quite a few waves. You can see it sat there seven turns till it unlocks. Um, let's take the next catapult as well. You literally can't see it happening. But I promise you, the bullets are bouncing like sideways. And in the meantime, let's upgrade the lightning, I guess. So, oh wow, we can really, we can really upgrade this. Uh, we can make enemies spawn a bomb and they die. 15% chance of that happening. And then our egg has turned into a treasure chest. So that's just loads more resources. Lovely jubbly. So now the lightning is fully upgraded. Time to turn to the missile and also pick another upgrade. Uh, yeah, I think electric damage having a chance to paralyze is probably the best to go with that. Meanwhile, our missile upgrade, we've unlocked radius increase and we can also double the amount of missile launchers we have, which could be useful, actually. Let's try and save up 220 coins. There we go. So now we've got two missiles on the go. I should probably start upgrading them, though. But yeah, essentially, all our other weapons are absolutely rinsing through everyone, meaning I'm good to pick another upgrade. Let's increase our range and then we'll keep upgrading our missile and then just watch us blast through the waves. I usually got to wave 26. This is where things get tough. Uh, but for now, we actually seem to be coping 
very nicely. All that extra gold we're getting through the through the attack waves really adding up. Yeah, we're up to round 28. So this is round 29. Oh, that was a big round. We're good though. We are good. We get another upgrade. Oh, let's go. Let's go with the 50% discount. Oh, there's so many enemies. <laughs> the dome completely intact though. Oh, we got new. Oh, what are they? They are absolutely hideous. We got a lot of health as well. Thankfully, no match for our dome. We're up to 2,600 diamonds if we survive. I think we're now taking on a new type of enemy. They got the red health bar. These are the invisible ones though. So they've got close. Oh, that's half our health. Can we survive one more round? I probably shouldn't have gambled. We may lose half of everything. No, we're good. We're good. I'm going for lunch. I'm going for lunch because now we have 3,100 diamonds to spend on something. So it may be worth just getting all the gun upgrades straight up. Or do I just go for extra guns like a laser? Yeah, let's get a laser unlocked. I will then fully upgrade these as well. So that's the normal gun fully upgraded. I'll probably do the same with the lightning. Nice. And we've still got 1600 diamonds left. So I guess, shall we do the missile? Right, missile, rinse the cash. We do have two on the go though, and they're pretty upgraded already. So let's get into this battle. Look at the range we start with. All right, okay, so we'll do some waves and we'll see how far we get with all of these max upgraded. All right, so we're up to round 42. Health looking quite bad, actually. I've, oh, I've just pushed it. I've just pushed it. I probably should have went to lunch then. Look how many enemies there. Look at my base is just crammed. Oh yeah, we're doomed. We're doomed. I think though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest everything I've got into the mining stuff. I'm gonna get these fully upgraded and then we'll come back and do the weapons. Five minutes later. All right, so there you go. Mining completely unlocked, which means we get a lot of diamonds every single run. Look, we currently have 6,000. So I think let's unlock the Tesla tower and then let's try and max upgrade the ones we have. So I want lots of missiles to start and I want to fully upgrade them. Lovely. All right, so we're going down. You can see we fully upgraded our gun, the lightning, the missile, and the laser is sort of getting there. Tesla, not so much. But we're not going to be spending our gold on upgrades. No, no, no. I found a way to break the game completely. Now, first off, we're looking for one of two upgrades. So we're going to be refreshing quite a lot. Now, these go up in price every single time we refresh. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. But essentially, I want this little guy, this lovely little piggy. Now, this means our coin balance gets interest every single wave so we can add 10 percent straight away and then we get another upgrade now what do i want to do i can either refresh trying to find another pig or perhaps it's worth getting this one another bottle each time you refresh oh sorry refresh uh, you get a chance to refresh again so i think i'll take that because that will guarantee later on it will get constant pigs but can you see this number in the top left Three, four hundred. At the end of every round, you'll see a load of gold come down into the dome, and then we get significantly more gold. And by the way, this was the boss round. <laughs> <laughs> the boss didn't stand a chance. But yeah, we'll start refreshing and we either want to find the free rerolls or another piggy. But yeah, refresh is getting quite expensive already. Uh, but yes, look, we have a free refresh, although there is the free refresh thing. I might actually take that while it's here because that adds 30%. And the more chance for free refreshes, the better this is going to do long term. In the meantime, we'll just smash through these early waves. But the key is not to spend any money if I don't have to, because that means will earn more and more every single round. Oh, do you remember that boss? <laughs> he doesn't last long anymore. This is amazing. Oh no, they're getting expensive again. And the pigs, the pigs have disappeared. 640 for a refresh. That was expensive. We do have another free refresh though. So I guess may as well do it. Yes, we get another pig. Ooh, although maybe I should take that instead. Another bottle plus. That adds 60% chance of a free refresh. And therefore I can probably get unlimited refreshes because I currently have 50. Okay, let's add that. We'll try and survive a few more rounds. But then if we refresh this one, is every single refresh free after? Th oh, no, it isn't. That one costs 10. But we get a piggy bank plus. That adds 20% interest. Yes, please. So now at the end of every round, so we go from, oh, we're just getting so much money every round. We're on 12,000. Now we're on 15,000. And then the next round, we're on 18, 19,000. <laughs> 
Oh, yes, this is nice. So essentially, I just need to survive as long as I can without buying any upgrades. And then when we get to this screen, we just refresh and we try and find more pigs so we can earn even more money. But I tell you what, if I get another bottle, that adds 30%. I don't think it'll go up to 100, but I'll do that. So hopefully next time we might have unlimited. I mean, for now, though, the waves seem to be going down pretty quickly and the money's going up very, very nicely. Oh, look, it's the crab boss thing. How long will they last when they get into the range? Not long at all. Right, so another upgrade. Oh, there's a pig. Oh, look, I got 69 grand. Nice. The question is, do I go for the pig or do I try and find a super pig? Because if we can get a piggy bank plus, that will add 20%. We've currently got 22.5% interest. I'm going to do it. May as well. Because I'm pretty sure all of our refreshes are free now. Although I've been refreshing a very long time. Perhaps there's only one like per game and I've already taken it. Yeah, I think that's probably the case. So let's just go normal piggy bank. So that will add 10%. So we go from 69 grand to 89 grand. So the next round when that's over, we got the 11.8 W's. What's a W? Um, enemies are getting close that round. They did a little bit of damage. Perhaps it might be worth upgrading like my laser. Yeah, laser are fully upgraded. We'll go down to the Tesla tower. We may as well just max upgrade that as well. Oh, and look at this. We get more upgrade. <laughs> now, I'm definitely not just going to refresh until I find a pig again. Oops. Anyway, we've now fully max upgraded everything. So it's just a case of how many rounds will we survive? That's another pig. We've only got 37.5% interest. I need more. <laughs> okay, so round 48 looks pretty big. Nothing my base can't handle though. And we get a new upgrade. Oh, thank you very much, game. I feel like since I can't buy any more upgrades, probably not worth getting the pigs. I should probably try and get actual damage. Uh, so the hammer stuns full life enemies and deals more damage. Adds 50%. Oh, can I try and find a hammer plus? Hammer plus, there you go. So that doubles my weapon damage, I think. We will take that and see what happens. I mean, we seem to be smashing through anything this planet can throw us. So round 56... Ooh, they have some big health bars. That's actually quite scary. They're getting close. So round 58. Oh, no, we're getting pummeled. We're getting pummeled. They're shooting us. I didn't realize they could shoot us. Oh, I might need to lunch. I might need to lunch. I'll try and survive one more round. Nah, because they shoot us. We have 10,000. So let's set sail and see what happens. Oh, we've gone home. Still, we've unlocked a new map, Jupiter, as well as a whole new set of weapons. So if you want another video, boost the like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and perfectly balanced dome games. Bye, guys.